Hey everybody, it's Jane Hamill from FashionBrainAcademy.com. Welcome to today's episode of Ask Jane, a question from a designer. Now this one comes from Rita in Chicago, and she says she has a line of children's accessories and um, children's wear as well. Some She does some clothes too, it sounds like. And she's wondering if, she, she just had some friends who did the one of a kind show. And I know there's a few of them, but the one in Chicago just happened a few months ago. She says, should I consider doing that since I'm so new? Um, what are you, what's your suggestion? Because it's pretty expensive, the one of a kind show. And here's my suggestion for you, Rita. If you are brand new and if your things fit, why don't you consider the Etsy department of the one of a kind show? The Etsy booth, I believe I had a few clients do it and I believe it was like eight or $900 for a booth instead of, you know, a lot more than double, you know, of that for a regular booth at, at, at um, at the Etsy one of a at, at the one of a kind show in general. Okay, so consider that because um, you know that account that amount of money for a trade show is really not bad, and they do get a lot of traffic if the Etsy shopper is your client. You know, it all goes back to the who, Rita. If Etsy, if the if the Etsy area is where your type of customer is going to shop, then totally go for it. Because if you if you walk the show, you'll see it has a different vibe than the typical one of a kind show areas, okay? So that's my advice, I would check it out. Yeah, if you're gonna do a show, that's one to think about. Try to talk to as many people as you can who've done it. Go online, get on a forum, you know, ask a question, get involved with the community and say, hey, did you guys do it? What did you think? How did it go? Because the answers will, will vary greatly and you need to know which products each person who's answering did and, and if they're like you or, you know. And also, you know, you know, the response you get at a trade show, it all depends on what you put out there. Is your booth looking nice? Have you organized your products? Are they labeled properly? Do you drive your own traffic to your booth too? Do you have a mailing list? Do you just send out emails? Do you have some sort of following? That'll all make a huge list. And that kind of organic marketing, you know, getting your own list, being on Twitter and, and Facebook is very, very important. And I'm actually getting ready to teach a class on that like just how to do some low, low cost, high return marketing for your line. So we'll, we'll, there'll be details on that at fashionbrainacademy.com, okay? So I hope that helps, Rita, and thanks a ton for your question. If you're not getting these videos in your uh, inbox or these articles every week, then sign up, go to fashionbrainacademy.com, sign up, there's a free um, like gift on there for you, a free report or a free class, depending where what, what time you go. And um, you can totally get this to, right to you every week, all the info for emerging designers to help grow your business. Thanks so much, Jane from Fashion Brain Academy. See you next time.